Welcome back guys to the channel. Today I am going to be playing as Bryson DeChambeau at St. Andrews and let's see how his swing mechanic works and how he looks in game and let's see if we can beat a course record with him and in future videos we might even do a live versus pj uh, match play so that would be interesting to say the least so let's go ahead and select our Bryson DeChambeau and then uh, let's change the conditions to afternoon uh, to Sunday everything to tournament conditions uh, wind speed light changes yeah and let's see how we get on and I am playing on I think it is tour difficulty, but with the putt EA uh, Sports coverage assisted, of the world of golf brings us to the place uh, where it all began. They've been playing golf here since the 15th century on the old the, course at St. Andrews. The Rich shot shape being off, please do be joined as always. We need like having to swing diagonally. We cannot so talk about the old course without see how talking we get about him. bunker. The weather is in great in here. All we know they can derail around so what's the key to avoiding them you just mentioned it really avoid those bunkers um the, the beautifully okay. positioned you know if they're downwind you got you'd be surprised does have a power 60 or 70 yards so now the question is do we go for why that bunkers down there wouldn't be advice in the shadow of us so if we didn't just keep your eyes open but yeah hey, it's a, it's okay. a beautiful walk so as you can and, see he's um, adjusting really with his single plane swing and should be played aka the more norman swing so let's see if we can Hit a bomb here. Ooh, we've hit that well. It's just a bit right. If that bounces over, that would be amazing. Oh yes. And, that'll and come we've to just stop driven in the, the green on, the right on one. Side. So a good tee shot there to get his round going. And we're on the fairway behind the green. That's crazy. So the great tee shot left him here. Now his second from relatively close range. Let's try. Okay, I guess we'll go with the pitch shot. Not many good options. Don't want it to be ending up in the water there. Not great. But chipping okay, is something I've been struggling with in this game. Will so let's get your attention. And put in as well, to be fair. I can't see it breaking much beyond that. Well, you, Bison even has his sick putter in the game with the arm lock style. And we can sink our first birdie well putt of the day to, to one go to one under. Day. Here we are now at the second. Always so important to try and establish a good round in these opening holes, Frank. In the second hole, especially the with graphics the do look amazing in this game. The odd I am playing on PC, screen, so you um, can choose you really to unlock the frame rate the golf course, or the play at 60 FPS. If you guys want to see like just a standalone gameplay of like different courses with like the whole flyovers with the with the PC graphics, because right now there isn't a benchmark feature. I'm not sure if there is, so a little underswing there. But that should be fine. Yeah. That one gonna be in great shape. So following the birdie at one, a solid. I've always wanted to play St. Andrews in real life, but now seeing how undulated the course is would be beautiful to so play there. Just 76 yards also a real challenge. Here's his second. Let's see if that is going to spin back. No, it didn't spin back enough, unfortunately. No problems there. Really good approach shot. And now, good looking birdie. 
I mean, in the game, he's actually still technically sponsored by Cobra, as you can see on the cap. He doesn't even wear his uh, Pain Steward style cap anymore, which is a bit sad. Uh, I'm pretty sure he signed a ping deal, or as we just, just missed on by. the high side there. Now let's tap the same for our bar. Okay, that one cleaned up without any issue, and that is a bar. Frank, talk about the Can't wait to play the road hole, because that hole is going to be difficult. To screen, uh, Richard, shorter than the second hole. Uh, just hit it down the right side, but try and avoid those little pot bunkers. It's interesting how the fast mechanic makes you swing uh, miss left or right depending on the player who oh, is that going to use the bunker yes it is and we are up against the face of it and that's going to be that one impossible not quite able to hang on it's into the bunker oh, okay bryson is standing on such a steep slope there but we are able to actually get this out so It's impressive how they've managed to even get his feet to be in line with that slope there. Oh, sit. Wow, that is not good. Uh, just too tough to control out of the sand. That one, unable to hold the green, it'll run off try into the short here. stuff. Let's see if we can hit like a might not end well but I want to try hit a runner and have it come back down the slope from the other side keep going okay is that going to be enough to come back down it stayed there you've got to be kidding me that's going to be so difficult to sink okay I uh, want to bring it down a touch that should be enough. Is that enough? No one left. Close. Couldn't ask for much more on that putt. <sighs> Silly bogey. After nearly driving the green. All right, it's a bogey here at the that. third, and that will drop him back down to level par. Frank now at the fourth hole. Yeah, long par four. Uh, two choices, whether you a uh, game enough to drive it down the right or down the left, which is a much wider piece of fairway. I'm pretty sure on all holes we're going to be hitting driver here. Proper aggressive. But realistically, I think Bison would actually be hitting a few more irons off the tee because... Ah, too strong it's going to be the so side. hard to control how the ball Ran bounces. Out of and into the rough. Big hit though. Mm, it should be fine. And then hopefully it spins it back a bit. A bit of an underswing to help it come back. Spin, yes. Well, that's going to be looking real nice. Sith. Just drifted a bit to the right. That's but a good shot. Feet. And more importantly, too, a green in regulation. So, birdie chance. He has a 12 footer here. Can we make this? Wow. Nope. Good Can't. effort, but that's going to wander a few feet. And by. our swing arc was straight as an arrow. So, I'm interested to see. If you overhead the pot by a certain amount, will it still just go straight and okay, not take the break at all? For a par. Well, here's a real scoring opportunity. The first par five on the front side at St. Andrews, the fifth hole. It's only 514 yards. That greenhouse, this five. is a football field deep. The key here, yet again, avoiding the big bunkers. They're called the Seven Sisters bunkers off the tee. If you do that, You'll have a great chance to get home in two. Smashing drive. Kick right somehow. Did kick right a touch. And that Needs will to go do through. just fine. Wow, that is a monstrous drive. The commentators in this game are pretty good so far. They're not repetitive like in the 
2K games or the Roy McIlroy game. Now, from way down there, a good look at a second to the par five. Wonder if it's something they'll continue to update, like in real life. Also sucks we don't have a uh, John Rahm in this game, as you know he won in real life the Masters, which is kind of crazy because I did think Brooks Koepka was gonna win, which would have been massive for the whole live ordeal. Got every bit Unfortunately, of my favorite player, Roy McIlroy, is not only we'll not in this game, five. but he he pretty much hacked in real life and missed the cut. Let's see if Roy can win another major, yeah? This year specifically. Wow, that putt didn't break either. I am over reading this putt, that's what I've noticed. Shouldn't be much in this. So I need to birdie. stay inside the hole next time we have a putt okay, like that. Accomplished there. Two putts and a birdie at the par five. Easy two putt birdie though. Here we are that now at the three hundred and seventy four realizing. yard par four sixth. It's a blind tee shot over a mound. The key here, avoiding the coffin bunkers on the left and a series Let's of bunkers on the right. Let's just have a look at the surrounding nature, shall we? For instance, these bushes look really nice. And even that coastline in the distance. I mean, admittedly, it's a bit of an overcast day. But otherwise, it looks really nice. They even have Bryson's mannerisms before hitting the ball. And his tempo is quite decent. And in this game, the best thing yes, sir, is, is you can done. actually adjust the tempo to your own player when you customize your own player to your own playing style. So if you like to swing like in 2K, it's a bit... Uh, Slower at times and faster. The big drive got him here. Now a short so one. So you can make it second. faster or slower depending on your swing style. Gonna play this here. Let the slope take it back to the right. And that's a pretty good shot there. Just got past the hole by a bit. Seven feet now for birdie. Now if this doesn't go in, we're gonna have problems. And not a problem. We don't That's for birdie. We have That's back to back birdies. To under par. Officially starting back a here birdie at the train. Championship on the seventh hole here at the old course. And the guys let me know one, let me know uh, in the comments really down below what uh, what you want me to do in this game. If you want me because I am planning to start a career mode series. I just don't know whether to start from the ultimate beginning of an amateur or start from like the Corn Ferry Tour or start from the PJ Tour directly and what difficulty I should play. So I'd love to know your guys' thoughts. Well that's on a pretty good line so far. I mean Bison the Shambo feels like a cheat code. He just carried that 330. I need to check whether or not I'm playing off the right tees because Black tees should be the furthest back ones. Well, they claim it's a reachable par four. We haven't seen a whole lot of people do it today. We just saw it right there. Well done. Wow, this is going to be a long putt. I think this is one of those ones where you... Where straight is probably the safest bet here. Okay, overhit it. Hopefully, it slows down a bit. Yeah, good lag pop. Trying to generate some momentum here at the seventh hole. This for birdie. Yes, a quite an easy birdie the there. The Keeping our birdie train going. Push that score to three under for the round. 
Arriving now at the first of only two par threes at the old course, 166 yard eighth, featuring a high lip bunker guarding the front of the green. Let's check, are we, it is difficult are to we hold. on the furthest back tees here? It'd be interesting to know. I mean, so far I don't see anything behind us. Yep. Let's just do a 360 panorama, I guess. It's interesting, we don't see... I can't remember if I selected a uh, crowd to be on or not. Doesn't look like it is on. Seven feet down. Should probably hit a finesse. Like that should be perfect. Looks a bit right. Not bad. All right, you take those all day long. On the green, chance for birdie coming up. Birdie putt coming up, and we go to Iona Steven. Yeah, and contending with this slope is tough enough, but adding the fact that it's going to move sharply from right to left, and you find yourself a very tough putt. I don't even think that's enough. Yep, not even close. Wow, that was a lot of break. Can you imagine trying to put that in real life? Having to hit it 15 feet to the right. That's not over. Compensate for the break here. Yep. That's a good return. Yep, good work not to Unfortunately, we can't away, keep our body train going. But we are Rounding three under nine here at St. Andrews and eight this holes. par four features a couple of fairway bunkers that players will have to contend with. Yeah, this hole is a fun hole when you first stand on that tee and look at it. Um, you see those bunkers okay, smack bang in the middle of the fairway. The last bunker there in the middle is called the end hole. This hole is, is called the end. He has a two this wood. green too is so flat, very, very difficult to read. But uh, if you get there, pull the head cover off the driver. We're Remember, gonna this try is the only chance it, to get to play the old Actually, I don't think that was the right club. No problems there. That's going to wind up safely in the fairway. I thought the driver would be a bit long and it would Good just race get one in into the back here. This and be short-sighted. So. I guess it's better to be short than long. Let's try the runner, shall we? I wonder how much it will run. I think that should be enough. Why is it asking for such a big swing though? Yeah, the runner didn't go as far as I thought he would. Nobody's happy after that shot. Oh, I mean, that was uh, one up from disastrous, really. You'll have 17 feet on this putt. I think this is best to leave it straight, if not left in, left edge. Wow, that hit the ball a lot harder than I thought nope. it would. That slope. Can you imagine trying to read the greens on this game without the grid? Just a tap in there. The grid for lines. The ninth, it would be impossible. That's going to be a three under thirty-three on this front side. Starting off the backside here at St. Two Andrews with the 340-yard par 4 tenth, named in honor of the great Bobby Jones, 1927 Open champion and 1930 amateur champion. Right with center off the tee, drive. ideal here. The fairway narrows around 280 yards, but the green is drivable. Oh, this is going to be way down there. Good bounce. Yep. Okay, that's going to be too long, actually. Sit. And the screen is massive, of course. 
Oh my goodness, that is on in one. Wow, what an incredible shot. One feature of so many of these older British courses, the oversized greens and this, a long look for eagle. This is hard. I think that should be fine. On the head it's lovely, but it is downhill, so... Yeah, good lad, pup. Yeah, from that far away, anything inside of five feet is pretty darn good. A straightforward look here for Birdie. Yeah. If only back they could all with the birdie short, stuff, very well back nine. And it so let's see if we birdie. can finish Frank, today's round here 7 under, 8 under, 9 under. It is a bit excessive, well, but we are, after all, not actually course, playing in the open. We are just playing at this round, I guess. got to fly that bunker that protects the front of the green. That's called the Strath Bunker. Uh, you really take anything on this green. You make a two here, you'll make a move Okay, on that field. is long. That needs to sit. Oh. If I didn't overswing at that, that would have been perfect. Where well, this is just way too much club for a front hole location that was completely overcooked. Okay, well the uh, the commentators are a bit wrong there. It's not a front hole location, is it? Mm -hmm. Decent flops are just landed it too short. Are we going to get another bogey? That would really suck. And no, uh, we managed to get our par right safe. Yeah, that's how you that's keep the good. rounds going. A terrific putt to save par. Frank, how do you like the 12th hole here at St. Andrews? Well, it's a beautiful par four. You start to see the, uh, the village of St. Andrews in the background, Eden Estuary to the right. And also decision time. There's if you're long enough, it's certainly worth having a crack fours. at this par four with your tee shot. But if you're not a long hitter, then you've really got to worry about those four beautifully and well strategic uh, position bunkers in the middle should, of the fairway. Should be perfect. Just a stock to wood. Perfect. Almost perfect. Swing that as well. Keep going. Get up there. Oh, I didn't. Not okay. quite where he wanted it, but it is on the green, and that's not too bad. So step one is successful off the tee, but now work to be done here. A long one for Eagle. I'm tempted to chip this. I'm gonna chip this. Because this is so much flatter. Yep. I wonder if it will take a divot on the green. Come on, get in, get in. What a what chip a in from on the green. You take a chip and it goes now straight in. And again, Frank, That's exactly how Bryson should have done it yeah, last year. forces you to go either right or left of something that you can see. Uh, the two bunkers called the coffins right up ahead. You can also go beyond the those and if you do, you should have set a bit more wind to make it challenging. Got to avoid those fairway bunkers. They are very Let's costly. try, see if we can thread the needle. Nope, way too far right. And it's in the bunker. Oh, that's gonna be. Nope, that wasn't the right line, and he'll pay the price. Ooh, that's this close ball to be run off the fairway and into the bunker. To reach. Took a big swing at it. A bit short. But I think anywhere well, on the green from that shot, bunker really. I know is that's, pretty uh, good. Not exactly close to the hole, but out of the fairway bunker, safely on deck. A birdie putt down to Iona. Well, this is a big okay, swing putt this right one to one as left well because from start to finish. We do need to try and master the putting aspect. Ooh, that looks good. Just a bit short. Yeah, I think you take that. That would be a bit higher up than it might have been. Turn, so to get within a few feet, that's, that's not pretty bad. much a two putt for Manati, though. So that's going to be a par, and he'll remain at six under for the round. 
Frank, the 14th is a big par five chance to make a big move, but also possibility of making. A I big think this is the last par five. Yeah, you've got to be very uh, aware of the out of bounds on the right side, on even though it does nine, move to the I'm right. Not um, ideal tee shot is down the right side that uh, gets very close to that because then that um, mm. opens up the second shot and keeps that uh, tee shot away from that proper bunkers called the birdies. There's a big cross bunker up ahead that has to be avoided for the second shot. Yards, um, if you're long to carry, you can reach easy peasy, and so many finishes at what almost flat. run out. 52 yards of run out. That is utterly ridiculous. Guess that's the benefit of St. Andrews when you're in the This is going to be very hard to keep on the green. Oh, I pushed it. Yeah. Sit down somehow. Okay. Didn't go into that bunker, so not terrible. Right, landed it on the green. It was never going to stop. No, no chance. Is there a bit of a backstop there? Otherwise, I'm going to go with the easy choice of the flop. Yeah. Ooh, that was close to going down into that valley. But decent flop shot. Now, this for another birdie. I see the beads going left to right, but I don't know if it will actually break that much. Okay. Yes, very Another birdie. Done in that one. In we are birdie. seven under with four holes to go. Right, Can we somehow that you're shoot not double a digits or a tree, on the par? But sometimes you're aiming for a to be honest, this was a bit too easy. I think I should have gone the on to yeah, the church steeple the exact line off the tee. That gives you some adjusting some of the, the putting. Um, really, you don't have to be uh, overly bold off the tee. This is about just finding seconds. a nice flat lie for that second shot. Because this is another difficult green that's well protected by just I one little perfect, bunker. It's that's in okay, the front left that you bounce. don't think comes in Very the play. But if there. your second shot doesn't land the right distance, don't go in that bunker. More don't, often don't. Than not, it just get swallowed up by that. And it's against the lip. And it would appear that that ball is into the bunker. So I, mean, I wanted this a second from the bunker. Yeah, you know, it's all very well Says having distance off the tee, but the old course, like that, she's a canny so. old bird and she's still got a few tricks up her sleeve. Let's try this, I guess. Hopefully it doesn't smack into it. Oh, that was close. Looks very good, though. Oh, we almost hold out. We talked so much about just that dreaded long bunker shot, and that was played beautifully. I would take that any day of the week. But now we have a feet very difficult putt with this ridge here. I reckon that's good. Oh, we yeah, ain't too much right. wander off to the right and leave maybe two, three feet coming back. Yeah, fairly so easy he'll pass that off for his par as he'll stay at seven under. Sixteenth hole is a par four here at the old course, Frank, with another one of those sort of funky features. I can't wait to yes, start the doing the Korean series the because Plus that out of I have seen the other series so like really the Apex Hounds uh, uh, series has been Nothing looking pretty good. A bit left here. But the further left but he is playing on a much harder difficulty, that that's why I'm wondering, should I play a much harder difficulty, so that it's almost like really realistic, like real life, again, another great where it's really shot. difficult so I'm starting to wonder how low with can a low skill go? and experience and the driving has been to well, superb. win tournaments. So a big drive, and not much needed to carry here for his second. Gonna land it just on top of that shaft. Risk and reward, I guess. I don't understand how people play without the... Uh, don't go down, don't go down. Oh, almost dead. 
I don't okay, understand how people play there. without the swing arc because then Let's bring in Nota Begay the third. It's gonna be very difficult to birdie. judge. And this is a putt players love to see uphill, slightly right to left. That should be good. Oh, I didn't hit it. Over the reach. Nope. Got it there, but not quite on target. If I hit that hard, it might have taken that break out. Good round going minus seven. <laughs> Bryson DeChambeau is saying the famous 17th at the Open thanks Championship. Thanks to the crowd, but even though there isn't one. The grandstands, and you know, all eyes are on you for the next couple of holes. Yeah, this is one hole I think that uh, anybody that goes to the old course certainly wants to play. Blind tee shot, you've got to flash yeah, it across the out of bounds and somehow yeah. find the fairway. If you go too safe down the left side, well, there's some heather to be chopping out of. Good tee shot, certainly gives you a chance to hit at this beautiful Ooh, green that's going to the left, well protected by the road and hole bunker. And we're not going to get lucky this time. If you're ambitious and strong, then there's a road itself and an out of bounds beyond this green. Yeah. Rough. Well, that drive was make the second I know it's in the rough, but it's long. Oh, Being set for a second shot here at 17. Let's see if he can finish with a good one. Should this we ball hit it the rough, onto the road and see? Uh, no, because we want to try to get to 8 under, so I'm going to leave it the way it is. I love his swing animation when he's hatching it out of the rough. Point. Wow, pretty good shot with spin. Well, I don't have my tape measure out, but that looks like, uh, what, six, seven feet in there, but that is an excellent approach shot. This now, okay. seven feet for his birdie. Ooh, just caught yeah, a piece on the that one right, right side. In. That's good putt, and it's in for a birdie. Ah, uh, yes, one of the most famous finishing holes in golf. 357 yards, par 418th at St. Andrews. Aim the drive at the clock on the RNA Clubhouse. And remember, there was anyone who could reach the screen in one. The course. Any ball that lands there must be played as lies. Person. Well, this looks really good. Don't kick too far right, though. Keep going. Ooh, is it gonna stay up though? Just about. Drivable par four. Really struggled not to get for up most there, in this field, but for this guy, yes, he has just with the knocked duck it on. on. What a well. shot! I hope now, you guys enjoyed the gameplay video today. I just wanted style. to play a bit of a Long casual round. For Eagle. Uh, maybe talk about our future. Uh, uploads on this channel i'm thinking of doing some pc gaming tech uh, videos because i did get a new pc and i also want to uh, share with you guys how you guys can game on pc because i think pc gaming is very unique in terms of what you can do compared to just normal consoles first let's see if we can get an eagle here don't go down Okay, bit low, and we have a putt to shoot nine under. Chance now on a Sunday probably would get us to win the British Open. And yeah, boom. that's how to end it. Back to back birdies nine at under. seventeen, six 18. on the back nine, and that will close out a nine. nine under round of sixty-three. I hope 63. you guys enjoyed the video Incredibly today. Well done, and peace. Frank. It really was.